Hi, I'm uh, Chelsea Satula, the owner of Sespe Creek Collective, and today I have an appointment with the Ventura County Sheriff's property room to pick up the approximate cargo van full of cannabis, cannabis products that they seized in the raid on our collective and at my house in 2016. It's almost five years to the day uh, that I'm able to reclaim this property that they took from me. So I have a clipboard with all my inventory list on it, and we're going to see how much of it they're actually returning to us and what kind of shape it's in and how I get treated and see what happens. I'm really glad this day is here. I can't wait for it to be over. It's just another day in this kind of seemingly never ending saga, but um, I'm glad it's meeting with somewhat little resistance from the DA's office. The judge approved it. It wasn't really a big fight after all this time. So we'll see how it goes. Since we can't sell any of the inventory that's coming back to us, no matter what shape it's in, we have to destroy it by law. Um, we're going to have to sue to get the value back. You got the fan, Chelsea? <laughs> I sure do. And you know what? The ladies over there were like, I see your aura. It looks really radiant today. And I can tell it's just coming. The flow is coming back to you. It's all community vibes today. And I ran into Zena. She's right there from Magic Hour. Saying, let's get the let's get that vintage weed back. It's gonna be a treasure. a safe and legal way for me to access cannabis for my medication and I had to wait at least a year until a dispenser a legal dispensary storefront opened up and even then as a parent it made it very difficult for me in order to uh, reach this so um, I feel like this is vindication I'm extremely happy that we're getting this back I think it's uh, disastrous that we um, have to destroy it all, but we're working through this compliantly, um, and uh, we'll, we'll definitely see our day in court and hopefully we'll be vindicated. going guys? Pretty good.
good day to get all this stuff back. Yep. Nice and sunny. What do you think the condition of all this stuff is? Uh, I don't even know when that's in this place to be even, even open, so I have no idea. I can't tell you. Is it just all marijuana stuff? This I don't know. I don't know how long like stuff is good for. So. Well, at this point, none of it's compliant with the state, so we have to have it all destroyed. I don't know what that means, but. <laughs> <laughs> it means it's not compliant. <laughs> it's exactly the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> take your word for it. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be nice if they did it, right? Yeah, it would be. They took it all. How are you feeling, Chelsea? I'm really surprised that this much stuff is coming back to us, but we'll see what happens when we open the boxes. Um, their inventory lists here are a lot more precise, obviously, than what they gave us. So we'll see. We'll see if the sheriffs have any serious reckoning to do other than just the fact that this is all old and I can't use it. We'll see if it's all there. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, vintage cannabis from 2016, yeah. my friend. We're talking old vape cartridges, capsules. We're gonna, yeah. obviously these are not kind of sealed together, but uh -huh. we're gonna get them inside and check it out and see what kind of condition this is. 89 marijuana vape cartridges right here. Okay. That. You can see peeping through the holes, some old, old school Kiva, just like some salted okay. caramel, maybe right. espresso bites, more Kiva bars, lots of old ADX space mm -hmm. cartridges right here, Girl Scout cookies, old school packaging right here, can't get those anymore. Hey Sean, what do we got here? A whole bunch of weed. Tons of weed. 